And Jamie joins us here in the studio. Yeah, and talking about emotions, tissues at the ready, because Nicky Campbell will be here to tell us about some of the amazing people he's met in the new series of Long Lost Family, which returns on Monday. He'll also be telling us all about his new Bay City Rollers documentary, which is actually on tonight. And to complete our trio of guests... We never think about it, do you? No, but, you, but actually you do hear more and more about it mm. now, don't you? Yeah. Uh, right, it is time to say hello to our first guest tonight. Please welcome Nicky Campbell! Yeah. I know it's been a while. Yeah, Nikki, so lovely to have you here on the show. Uh, now, the, the new series, Long Lost Family, returns on Monday. It's always such an emotional watch for people, and uh, they, they do really love it. But this time, one of the people that you help out is is Sean, and Sean. I just want to show you a little bit of his story here. All right. So powerful. Now you say Sean it is one of your your favourite stories of all. I mean, why why was that? Well, it really resonates because, and then he found out that he had two sisters. Mm. as well. So Michelle, they got married they got and then married. they've gone on to have... Michelle and Natalie. Children. And I met his beautiful mum Eileen and Michelle and Natalie and it just meant so much to them. And, so, and they thought about each other and then they looked so like each other as well when they met. But what I really loved about it, and this, this kind of resonates with me, is that he had to do it, had to meet them, had to find out, had to know where he came from and they've got a great relationship. But so respectful to his uh, adoptive mum and dad, you know. My, I mean, my adoptive mum, she's gone now, but she's my mum, you know, adoptive yeah. dad, who's my dad. Mm. But it's, you know, life's complicated and their story is just so, so happy. And you've got a knack of finding all these great stories. Every series, it just gets more and more emotional. We've got Mark saying, I love Long Lost Family, although I'm a wreck at the end, aren't we all? It really is. Yeah. Um, busy week for you, Nikki, because, yeah. of course, you have a documentary on tonight. Tonight? Now, this is all about the Bay City Rollers. Mm. What can you tell us about it and your connection to the Bay City Rollers? Wow, well, I'm from Edinburgh, I like my music, I grew up when they were around. It's on tonight on ITV at nine o'clock. It's the most extraordinary music business story. You know the thing that's about the music business, really? Yeah. This, this is amazing, their story. There's some dark stuff in there. Mm. There's some pretty sinister stuff. It's about their manager, it's about exploitation. Um, pretty uncomfortable. In fact, when I cry in the Long Lost Family, they cut it out, but I cry in this programme tonight, and I'm, I'm a bit sensitive about that. And they said, no, we need to keep it in, because we need to show that you, what you and your friends went, went through kind of relates to what these guys right. went through. Mm -hmm. But it's also a celebration. I mean, you know, they were, for about two years, they were like a, as big as the Beatles. It was an yeah. incredible. And, they were, and they were, they're true survivors. I mean, really. it is incredible. I mean, just take a look at some, some of this as well. It brings back memories. <laughs> not memories for you. No, certainly not. <laughs> so, uh... Or me, or me. <laughs> Barely me. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, when, when, I, when I say that, yeah. it's my dad going here, but it is memories for me. Yeah. Bye-bye, yeah. baby. But, and the thing is, as well, because I, I was kind of 13 when they were doing it, and they were just, we were so proud of them in mm, Scotland, and yeah. they were part of Edinburgh, and, you know, I've, yeah, you've met some massive people. You meet massive people on this show all mm. the time. And I've, in my time as a, as a journalist, you know, I've met McCartney and Bowie and the Stones, I met them. But he was such a part of my childhood. When I met Woody, yeah. it was the same feeling. And the great thing about Woody is, he's still doing it. He's still rocking, you know, he's still singing Shang Alang and he's still making them dream and making them scream. Were you nervous there filming this though? Was it, was it one of those bit. things? Was it meeting your idols a, a bit? bit? I was when I came in and met you tonight. It was yeah. <laughs> what was it like same putting vibe. the tartan on though? Same vibe. I tried some of the tartan on. Do you know what? It didn't fit. Yeah, oh, really? It's a bit of that going on. It some of my fit. dad's old things. You can't even work out how you put it on. Yeah. What, was, what was your feeling after you'd had the meeting then? Did it live up to expectations? Because, you know, sometimes it does and sometimes well, it's... No, it was great. It was yeah. great. He's great. Stuart's great, uh, Woody. And uh, the, the fantastic thing is, because I want to make this programme tonight, because there's some difficult stuff in it, I want to make it about survivors, you know, and the triumph of the human spirit. And he's, he's a classic survivor because he's still doing it. He's going out there. He is a basic realist. He's still playing the gigs. And he's, he's a wonderful man. And he's still holding that torch. Whatever the bad stuff is that went on, you know, it doesn't spoil the fact that... You know, they made people scream and they made people dream and they mm. made people laugh and cry and, and sing and dance and we'll always have that. And Woody's still doing it. An emotional celebration. It is. It is. Uh, thank you, Nikki. Secrets of the Bay City Rollers is on tonight, as Nikki said, 9 o'clock. Long Lost Family starts next Monday at 9 o'clock, both on ITV1 and ITVX. And, of course, Nikki, 
always there for you on BBC Radio 5 Live from 9 in the morning as well. There you go. Thanks so much, mate. And all week, don't forget, we've been revealing the winners of the Good School Food Awards. And At that age when the Voice Kids was around, I definitely would have gone for it. I was always looking for auditions in like, the newspaper and online. And I just think to go for as many opportunities and auditions and getting the experience, yeah. getting the no's, getting the yeses, and just getting so much experience and you never know where it's going to take you. It's like little baby steps by baby steps and then just hard work always pays off. Absolutely. Yeah. I think. Um, let's imagine for a minute that you, <laughs> Jamie and Nikki what? were going on The Voice, the adult one. Yeah. <laughs> what song would you choose? Oh, I want to know this. Well, I was going to go for cameo word up but i've now seen that i'm gonna go for my first 12 inch which was living on a prayer but I mean, oh, that's, oh, that's really Fair? hard because that's fine yeah, I, I can get the lungs going. Dance yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah but you know you could do a bit of double denim and a you know a headband triple, actually triple denim, triple denim. <laughs> yeah. what about you what would you yeah. go for i think i like a croon Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 you make me feel so young. Oh! oh okay. I'm pressing my button now. Uh, go. <laughs> to be frank, to be frank. Very good. I was going to say, I bet he's got a voice because he's gone straight in there with Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Let's have Bon Jovi then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Take well. my hand. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. My kids, <laughs> now, my kids are watching this. My kids start. are already it's embarrassed. Right. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. He's really good. set you up there. <laughs> yeah. That was loud, though. I liked it. I liked this it. is brilliant. This is a moment we weren't expecting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Voice Kids starts this Saturday, the 1st of July, at 7.30 on ITV1 and ITVX. Yeah, thank you so much to Pixie, Jamie and Nikki for joining us. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow with, oh, my goodness, More Dolly so. Parton. Oh, no. I'm Rita Ora, and we also have an exclusive interview with Dame Esther Ramsey. We'll see you then. Bye bye. bye.